My dear friends, we love you so very much, over the past many years, we've been working with you to help you learn about the power of your vibration in terms of what you will attract in life and what you will allow to flow to you with ease. There is a misconception, however, that we wish to clear up. We are not simply teaching positive thinking but high vibrational tuning. These two can coincide, but sometimes, what you call positive thinking is really a mask for feeling terrible. While others in your life might believe that your smile and sunny disposition indicate a positive vibration, those who are sensitive among you, and most of you on this list are, understand that your vibration will always tell the truth. So, we are not encouraging what you might call fake positivity. When you're sad, grieving, or angry, it is often nearly impossible to suddenly switch to a vibration of bliss unless you've truly mastered your thoughts. Even the spiritual masters on your planet all of them fall into the depths from time to time. There is no need to be hard upon yourself when you know you are in a lower vibration. Instead, choose to love yourself. Choose to love yourself and have compassion for yourself when you are sad. Choose to love yourself and have compassion for yourself when you are angry. Choose to love yourself and have compassion for yourself when you feel jealous, insecure, or afraid. While these vibrations will not allow the ideal things you desire to flow into your life, love will. Choosing in a moment of lower vibration to give yourself a hug and say to yourself something sweet, it's okay to be human. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be jealous, and so forth will always move your vibration up a little higher. Love is the way out of a lower vibration, dear ones. Start by loving yourselves. Of course you don't want to abide in these difficult vibrations. You don't want to feed the fire of anger with thoughts when you can focus elsewhere. You don't want to drive yourself deeper into sadness by focusing on all that is not there or not working in your life. You don't want to feed the fires of jealousy by focusing on who or what you are jealous of. But you do want to love yourself through these moments, days, weeks, or years because when you can truly offer yourself love and compassion, you are already starting to rise above these painful vibrations. Think of a little child. If that child were fearful, angry, or sad, would you reprimand them for their feelings, or beautiful, loving beings that you are wouldn't you rather hug them, hold them, soothe them, and love them, until the tougher emotions pass through? Like a storm that must rage until its energy is released, there are times when you cannot easily find a higher vibration, so you must let yourself storm, rain, or stew while simply choosing to love yourself through it. You have been taught to judge yourselves. You have even taken our words at times to mean you must be positive all the time. There are no shoulds in the heavens. There is no judgment. There is only unconditional love, acceptance, compassion, and an unwavering focus on who you truly are. Even in your depths, we see and hold steady in our focus of your light. Even in your hatred, we see what you love beneath it. Even in your jealousy we see your sincere desire to create more. In your deepest grief, we see the pearls and diamonds of your love reaching for connection. You are made of this love, dear ones. You are one with it. You feel good when in a flow of love and bad when you are not. You are not right or wrong, good or bad. You are simply aligned with love or not, and your life experience shifts based on the degree of alignment. So when you feel unloving or unloved, turn inward and choose to love yourself, for any love is the one love, and all love will always return you to your truest, deepest self. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels